Not good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tri 5 Guy. And as you can tell, the VR Commodore engine is over and done with. Um, as you know, in one of my videos, um, I drove it, well, tried to drive it back from uh, Maine to, uh, to here in Kentucky and uh, got as far as New Jersey and uh, the motor started wrapping in, uh, in New Jersey and then the transmission finally gave up the ghost in third and fourth gear. So, well, the motor was no good. The transmission had just lost third and fourth. I'm going to see how far I can go. So the adventure was on to try to get as far as I can at that stage. I was a good, I don't know, uh, I'd say at least about 800 miles from Kentucky, maybe more, 900 miles, whatever it was. And uh, so I got to um, Carlisle, Pennsylvania, or around about that area in Pennsylvania. And uh, that's where it finally uh, really started wrapping pretty good and, and I wouldn't, wouldn't even get out of first gear at that point. So, um, you know, I went back, as you know, in that video, I went and got my truck and the water pump broken that, and then finally got it back to Maine. And then I, I broke the, uh, the um, transfer case in that truck as well. So, uh, you know, just everything was going crazy. So, um, so it's time for a new motor. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what's going on uh, with what I'm gonna do with the, uh, with the ute. Um, also, the stuff I've bought for it. I've bought some stuff already for an LS conversion. Um, but I'm definitely going turbo, so I've bought a uh, turbo, I've bought um, another 4L60E transmission that I'm going to get rebuilt, um, I've bought some turbo piping stuff, I've bought another pan, uh, I've bought cam, um, lifters, uh, head gaskets, I've bought all sorts of little bits and pieces, so I'm going to show you what I've got, I'm going to ask for some advice. I was going to put a 308 in it, uh, sorry a 304, injected 304. Um, so I was looking around for one of those motors, but man, way too expensive, too much drama to get them over here. Yeah, Holden, Australian, awesome, right? But cost, no, mate. And plus, really, I mean, the power that those things make, nothing like an LS motor, and, and you know, it would be pretty unique with the LS in it here anyway, so um, I'm gonna go with the LS. Um, the engine I finally got was a uh, alloy uh, 5.3 litre. Windy. I'm just going to knock over the camera here in a second. Hey guys, um, I had to actually uh, move the camera around because the uh, the uh, wind knocked over the camera. So uh, sorry, I'll just take off again from from here. Anyway, so uh, like I said, I've got the uh, the uh, 5.3, which is an alloy um, uh, 5.3 uh, LM4, is it? Uh, I have to have a look at that again. But I've uh, bought a uh, turbo. Um, I've got some uh, pipe work for the turbo piping. Um, I've got all sorts of parts. I bought a new uh, BTR cam, uh, lifters, um, head gaskets, everything. Everything's ready. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of this wind and uh, and show you what I've got as far as parts. So yeah, guys, just like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going to um, make a video or when the next video is coming out. All right, guys, thanks. I appreciate it. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Um, so it's the next day um, at the shop. Uh, here's the uh, 5.3 LM4 2003 4 model. It's right before they went to Gen 4 um, So um, yeah uh, 5.3 litre. I've already taken the pan off. We um, Steve took off uh, a couple of the uh, caps to make sure the bearings are okay They're fine and don't forget. I'm not gonna rebuild this motor. I'm just gonna it's had a hundred and seventy odd thousand miles on it So uh, I'm not gonna waste my time and, and rebuild it this particular motor so we're just going to uh, just check it out, make sure things okay. We're going to pull the uh, pistons and rods out of it. We're going to gap the uh, the rings for the boost, um, and that's about it. We're going to replace the uh, the um, oil pump, the high volume, high pressure oil pump, and uh, timing chain. Uh, like I said, we're going to um, redo the uh, the gap. We're going to make them bigger for for the boost. Um, yeah. So uh, up here, I've got some uh, BTR stuff now. I know some guys in Australia buy BTR stuff, um, but th these guys are conveniently about 15 miles from my place. So I picked the, this stuff up yesterday. Um, so here's the, uh, here's the, I've got a stage one turbo cam, and there's all the specifications there. That's what I'm using, guys. Um, and uh, the valve springs, the, uh, 
0.660 inch lift uh, dual platinum spring kit there. Hang on, let me get closer. There you go. Right, and the chromoly uh, push rods. Um, being stock, we're not modifying it. We went for a 7.4, um, 7.4 inch. So there you go. Uh, these manifolds, you know, I bought them um, pretty cheap. I think they were about 100 bucks and had the V bands uh, welded on already. So um, gonna have to modify them, you know, like everyone seems to have it come out here and turn up. So I've got a uh, T4 flange here, a merge. So something, I'll make, I'll build a pipe up here and whatever position up here, maybe, I don't know. But I bought that. Got that sent to me um, yeah so uh, they're truck manifolds uh, the engines like I said is out of a Silverado uh, this I think I'm, I'm gonna be pretty good with this side uh, as far as width I'm gonna measure the engine bay width now that I've got these on um, I should be pretty cool I'm gonna do the old uh, exhaust from one side to the other here and put a uh, flex pipe in the middle just in two and a half yeah, so uh, like I said, the pan's already off. Everything's good under there. It's pretty cool. So I'm um, pretty happy about that. Yeah, so BTR, just around the corner from my place. And uh, the guy threw on a, a BTA, uh, BTR uh, hat. Nice people. Also, uh, I've gone for the LS9 style. Move that out of the way. I've gone for the LS9 style um, head gaskets. The seven layer... Um, a small bore um, head gaskets so they pretty much like an LS9 head gasket but for a small ball uh, 3.9 uh, 5.0 bore sometimes they say 3.9 uh, 2.0 I, I believe but anyway they're a uh, 0.55 inch thick head gasket seven layer pretty cool actually the way they are um, yeah look at that pretty cool so you know for boost applications fantastic and a bit of merch there from uh, Brian Tooley Racing. Pretty cool. Uh, so over here, I've got the uh, uh, Tough Mounts. And, and, and again, um, some merch, mate. Pretty cool. Tough Mount gave me a couple of those. And they probably do that with everyone. But, you know, I was pretty, pretty happy to get a, a hat and some stuff. Um, they sent them over. No worries. Didn't really take that long. Gave me a few stickers here. LS V8 into V6 cross member. So there you go. So pretty nice. I reckon they're bloody beautiful, aren't they? Look good. Nearly dropped the rack of pin on the ground then. Uh, yeah, sorry if the camera's shaky, guys. I don't mean to do that, but yeah, so they're ready to go. What's that one? I think they're stamped on here somewhere what they are. Uh, oh, yeah, here you go. Passenger side. Passenger side LS V6 6K, which probably means six cylinder uh, cross member, obviously. Uh, very nice, very happy with those. Very nice, there's that merge pipe. And I've got a uh, VL uh, Commodore Rack and Pinion, uh, manual rack. Gonna move it across uh, the, the tabs on the uh, cross member. So that's gonna happen. Um, I'm not gonna run any air con and no power steering. Um, so let me, any of you guys out there, let me know how that works out for you, not having rack opinion. Uh, I've got the GDO um, rims on my car, uh, as you've seen in other videos. So I, I'm really interested to know if it's really, really heavy. I mean, I've drive, driven cars before with no, uh, with no power steering, but I'm just curious about uh, how the Commodore, you know, steers without rack, uh, without power rack, I should say. So, um... Yeah, we're just going to move it across that 20 mil to miss the starter motor. I'm not doing that that uh, starter conversion. I, I can't afford it. If something happens to the starter motor, you know, I've got to get everything sent over from Australia. Not nah, not worth it. I'm just going to I'm going to run the dump dump pipe down here, and I'll have more room. So I rather move the rack over and and uh, modify a uh, one um, tie rod end to uh, you know make one longer and short one. That's not going to be a problem. You know, so uh, we'll probably do it ourselves. Got a lathe over there, or Steve does anyway. So, you know, modify it ourselves. No engineers over here, so I mean, there's no, um, you know, there's no no one to uh, say no to that. 
as long as you do a good job, right? So anyway, so there's all that. And then over here, we've got LS2 pan out of a GTO or over here, a GTO or Monaro over there. So apparently, guys, I've got to, someone can help me out here. I've got to pull that out and put a plug in there. That's what I've got to do, apparently. Can someone enlighten me on that, please? Um, yeah, that, that'll be uh, good if I can get a, an answer on that. But I've got the pan all here and uh, some other stuff over here. Uh, GT45, just a Chinese turbo. I mean, geez, guys have been using them for, for, um, for ages over here. I mean, and over there, so that's what's going in it. T4 flange. Um, some bits and pieces for the oil feed. That oil feed, oil feed line right there. So, there you go. So, turbo, oil pan or sump, sorry, mostly talking to a crowd of Australians, I guess, but sump, um, probably gonna get uh, some shit over that, saying oil pan, but uh, you know, I've been over here for 22 years, so so there's all the stuff. Uh, let me know what you think about the Brian Tooley stuff, if you got any of you guys over there have used it, they reckon they've sold a ton of stuff over to Australia. So like I said, I'm gonna get a high volume, high pressure oil pump yet, and um, LS7 um, uh, lifters. So, modify this, gonna cut all this out, make, turn the merge up this way. Obviously, I'm gonna wait till the motor's in the car. And over here, guys, probably see me working on this, big block powered, uh, blown, big block, um, A71, 502, uh, 35 Chevy. Uh, been working on this slowly. Um, I was playing around with the roof. Um, it's this is just hot rod black, and um, I don't know I was just trying to just shine it up a little bit so it looks like old lacquer type finish. But I don't know. I don't know if you really can shine up that stuff so it looks good. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe I should just sand it all back down again and just hit it with some. Um, I don't know, satin clear, don't know. Probably be a bit, yeah, it's just all dust, guys. Just all dust and, and shit in it. Just polish. Yeah, so, uh, so that's how it is. That's what's going on. Drive shaft over there. And here's all the panels I'm doing for the 35. Now, apparently when this guy bought this car, it was ready for paint, it wasn't. I had to rework everything. Even even these things were brand new. They they uh, repaired it before, and I had to go over them. These fenders. They had these lights in the back here, cut out, and the, the lights were on an angle. So patched them all back up again. Uh, all the doors are all done now. So yeah, that's coming up good too, eh? So anyway, yeah, that's all that stuff. So uh, let me let me know what you guys think and any advice. Advice. I need advice. Um, I didn't get a cross member from Australia. Uh, yeah, it was too much shipping and uh, something I can build right here, you know, but that's the only thing I didn't get. I wanted the engine mount, so, you know, I half had the engine in, in where it had to go, you know. Anyway, let me show you something else. All right, guys, I, I picked up this uh, tranny and paid 100 bucks for it, I think. 4L60E. It's going down today, actually, to uh, get rebuilt. It was rebuilt once. I don't know the condition of it. I'm not going to chance it. But uh, it was remanned in um, by uh, Jasper. They do engines and transmissions, but um, yeah, it's going back uh, to get uh, redone. Um, all the heavy duty stuff in it, extra clutches, whatever they do. Um, you know, just uh, all the right good stuff in it. So that's going to a guy local here, well, about 40 minute drive away, so. Um, yeah, that'll that's gonna get rebuilt next too All right guys, that's it for this video. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the uh, about the LS conversion um, and that oil pan um, Apparently I've got to block off that little uh, screw there for the uh, pressure relief or something like that Not only do I have to block it off, but I don't know why it's got to be blocked off I mean, I just people just say oh you got to block it off, but what's the reason is what I want to know um, also uh, you've got to run a, a different, uh, apparently you've got to run a different O-ring for the pickup, which I've got in that box over there. Uh, let me know uh, 
well, what colour of O-ring do I get if you guys know? You know what I mean? So just let me know what you think about all the other stuff. Um, yeah, that'd be great, guys. But most of all, please like, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, please do. So let me know what you think about the 35. There's other videos of the 35 when I started it. Um, all the panels here and stuff like that are ready to be primed. So there's going to be an update video on that pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, guys... And as always, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, I really appreciate if you subscribe, really would. All right, guys, well, thanks. I'll see you soon, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. Cheers.